Oh, hey guys, uh, welcome to class. How come, how come you guys are not already in class by the time I come in? Is it, is it like, well, this is the last meeting. Um, is it like configured so you can't join the meeting until I'm here? Yeah, it says waiting for host to start. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, for two way I didn't do that. And that's how they are able to start the class. You know, because sometimes I join the meeting and there's already an interesting discussion going on, which is really cool. So maybe I'll do it for, you know, the next, next time I, uh, maybe I'll do it for my 2C students. Uh, and I see that a whole bunch of you are, in fact, in, enrolled in my 2C section, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, so uh, I look forward to seeing you all um, in, in my 2C. And, uh, <clears throat> and I, like I said to my 2A students, don't, uh, don't waste a spring break at the beach, okay? You'll have a lot of opportunities to hit the beach later on in life. So uh, over the spring break, just catch up on the 2C quests because, um, you know, you had a few freebies really in 2B, right? Because there were some quests that were easy here and there uh, and so on. Um, but we won't have that luxury in 2C um, because there's literally a vast uh, number of topics to be covered And I don't know, I, I don't know how the uh, state uh, expects us to cover all of that in any less time. Um, because, you know, unless we cover all of that, I don't see, what I think what we've done, I think at least Michael from the more notes I've seen is that he's tried to pick and choose, okay, from that, um, Who's, who's, I've even forgotten the name of the author, Fred, uh, someone? Uh, Mark, Mark White, Mark, Mark Allen Weiss. Mark Allen Weiss, uh, I don't know how you pronounce his name. Um, so he, and there's a whole bunch of interesting algorithms in there. If you, if you have the book, you know that, right? Huh. And <clears throat> obviously you can't teach all of them. So I think he's just spent a lot of time fine tuning what can actually be feasibly taught in uh, nine weeks or in 12 weeks. And then and that's been distilled down. Um, and um, so, but uh, I, I think it's not as easy to do it in CS. Maybe what we can do is uh, in the process of reorganizing these courses, we should bring more of the topics into B, uh, 2C into 2B, okay? Because 2B won't be so easy and 2C be really challenging, right? Then we can equalize these things. Is that is that you you think is a general uh, is is that a good idea? Because two B was in fact easy uh, here and there, right? You could you could basically uh, coast and um, take care of other uh, subjects during that time. Yes, but I think well maybe it's like that. Maybe it's it's supposed to be like that because I think two C should only attract the really committed students. Maybe that's what it is. That maybe I'll mention that. At, at the you know, department meeting, because we are currently uh, debating, not debating, uh, discussing if our um, you know, ABC series is not set up properly um, because we're trying to look at student success and you know, what students say and uh, are they finding this you know, inordinately difficult. You know, that's, all, that's also 4.5 units and this is also 4.5 units, right? But in 2C, you have to be doing a whole lot more work. And uh, so one of the, I think, biggest objections I have faced anyway, um, it, all I've heard from students. <clears throat> um, and this is, you know, back, back in the day, right? Because when I was still an adjunct uh, professor at uh, Foothill, um, uh, yeah, I, I think we had a course that was 4.5 units or five units at that time. And, uh, and there was another course that was only two and a half units. And I taught that course. And, uh, and then the students complained, uh, saying that they had to put in five units a month, uh, worth of work and only get two and a half units out of it. But I thought at that time, but I didn't, I, maybe I didn't even realize that. Um, and I said, yeah, okay, maybe that, you know, we should re 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 revise or review the way that we teach that course. Um, plus, I didn't have a great deal of visibility to how these things work also, right? Um, but then later on, I realized that um, many students um, put in a lot of work, uh, 
when they're not required to also many times, right? And, um, and I think, uh, yeah, yeah I, I, it's where I was going with that was that um, it's basically a decision between do we grade on the amount of effort or, or the amount of knowledge? So if someone says I've been slogging it out for, you know, um, you know 15 hours a day uh, on this class and, and uh, does not have a, a good showing in class or, or you know, in, in performance versus another one who, uh, you know, just demonstrates knowledge by helping others and achieving personal goals also. Um, so one of them does the work and the other one uh, does less work, but uh, gets the results. So I, I, I tend to favor grading the work, rather, no, not, not you know, the amount of work, but you know, the, the, the success you enjoy. Because your success is also my success. So I don't get anything out of rewarding your failure. <laughs> Just be encouraging you to fail more. <laughs> so, you know, machine learning wise, you know, negative reinforcements need to be weighed down. Positive reinforcement, reinforcements, yes, okay. You need to give you more samples. I need to give you more samples of that. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so I, 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 don't, I, I don't tend to favor, when it comes to award grace points, okay? And here's one of the things that many students don't know. <laughs> I think so, right? Um, um, and not just me, okay? Every professor I know does this, okay? And maybe maybe students don't know. They have a secret column in their final spreadsheet. It's called grace points, okay? Um, and they can award grace points to you based on <clears throat> the level of participation, helpfulness, and kindness, uh, and knowledge you have demonstrated, okay? Over and above what the class requires, right? Um, and uh, sometimes, you know, if, if they actually feel that you are really out to know something, okay, and you're putting in an honest effort, you'll actually get mysterious magic points appear, right? And you say, well, you know, I only expected a, you know, a C plus. How, 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 how did I end up with a B minus or B, right? Uh, so, because those, you know, professors do have these. In fact, I do know one professor in math, okay, uh, who can do this entire thing, uh, calculus, without exams of any kind. And he does not even award points, right? Or uh, letter grades, right? He just has uh, a different system altogether. Just, you know, it's like questing, we do in questing. Uh, and he has a different way of allocating grades based on color and things like that. So I, you know, some students actually like that uh, because it, you know, I think emphasizes learning more than getting a, a piece of paper at the end. And uh, so, yeah, so that's, that's what it is. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how we started talking about, it, but I'm actually happy to see, uh, you know, all the progress you guys are making. And most of you are very, very near the finish line. Uh, and if you are on Quest 8 right now, uh, don't give up, don't look up uh, past solutions, okay? Uh, you know you've already passed the class. Uh, so just keep trying to understand all the concepts uh, so that you can pass Quest 8 on your own, okay? Uh, if you look up past solutions and just implement the correct uh, thing, uh, unless you understand the try structure and what changes places, because in a try, if you, if you remember, okay, it's like Hanoi. In a try, something fundamental changes, yes? We're not, we're not storing data in the cells anymore, yes? We're storing data into in, in the things that lead into the cells, okay? That is like moving the weights from the node onto the edges in a graph. And so it's a change, it's a fundamental change. <clears throat> so if you study hidden Markov models, for example, right? And I think there's two common representations of the hidden Markov models. When you just go on to study you know, machine learning and stuff like that. So one of them has uh, probabilities on the edges of graphs going out. Okay, and I think that is a hidden Markov model. And the other one, I think, no, 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 I, yeah, I, I forget. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. So, you know, one of them is called determinist, no, no, not, not probabilistic model. So you'll actually study this, study this in computer science in the first year, okay? If you go, if you go on to a UC or somewhere and, 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 and uh, major in computer science, this is a class you have to pass in the first, first 
quarter even, right? Because uh, I know this because my daughter was uh, doing this. And uh, so uh, finite state machines, okay? That has got to be, <laughs> I think that's how it starts, okay? Your first your introduction after having mastered data structures, okay, and algorithms, that's when you start looking at finite state machines, right? It, don't, and I think it would be a mistake to learn about finite state machines before you've mastered the data structures and algorithms, okay? Because what we need is to first know how to use the tools before you show, got, go and, okay, now you're going, today you're going to learn how to repair a bus. Tomorrow you're going to learn how to repair an airplane, okay? Different things, different ways, but the tools are the same, yes? So you have to learn to use these things differently and get experience in this area. But if you don't yet have mastery over the tools and know that, you know, this tool can be used in five different ways like that, Okay, and you're going to learn how to use it in a new grip when you go on to, uh, you know, fix a new machine. You know, that's not the kind of employee that, you know, a, a top company would hire. Yes. So, and it's very similar when it comes to algorithms. So, a lot of students make the mistake of trying to understand, uh, you know, important things like, you know, probabilistic graph handling or even machine learning and data engineering, right? So I, I think I made this point before, because once you start venturing into data engineering, it's not mathematical science anymore, okay? It stops being a math and a logic science, which is pure knowledge, and it starts becoming an empirical science. Like, you know, everything that's, you know, measurable, like, you know, empirical science, what the world tells you, nothing more than that, okay? So, um, and so in data engineering, that's what we have, right? Because many times we don't know what the underlying model is. All we know is that there's a bunch of numbers and somehow it mysteriously produces the output. Does it produce the output always? Can you prove it mathematically? We say, no, I can't prove it mathematically, but it happens like 99.9% .9 of the time. Or you can put in how many ever nines you want, but that's the level of accuracy you get, you know, the amount of money you're willing to throw at it. Yes? Yes, yeah, so that's your standard data problem. It's also a standard science problem. Yes, it's an empirical science. Take astronomy, for instance, right? You don't even have chemicals around you. Right? Astronomy, you're trying to look at different system charts. The more money you have, the better your telescope is going to be. And the further back in time or further away you can peer. But there's going to be a limit based on how much money you have and how much resources you have. Yeah. Um, so like that, it's uh, so wh wh whenever we, uh, you know, settle for studying something uh, tangible and measurable, we also have to compromise and say we settle for the maximum allowable position afforded to us by the machinery we're going to use. So if those are the tools, those are the only tools I can use, you know, nothing better than, you know, a 10th generation electron microscope. Okay, that's the level of precision I can hope to get. All right. And, and so I think, so algorithms is exactly the same. And so when you go to, uh, you know, if, if where I was going with all that is that, you know, when you study a finite state automata, you'll know that the try, uh, you know, coming all the way back around here, the try, uh, the abstraction we've made in try, uh, in tries, in, in, in the prefix tries, is, uh, is, is very similar to an algorithm you learn in, uh, in converting what is called a deterministic finite state machine, I think, you know, I don't know if I can remember, right? into a non, no, no, it's not even determinist. All right, so there is a transformation. This is a Rabiner to, uh, so in one of them, the, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, okay, all right, I, I remember. Okay, in one, the, 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 the thing that emit, that's emitted is inside of the node and the other is on the edges, okay? One is called a probabilistic graph and the other one is called a Rabiner HMM or something like that, okay? So you can look it up later if you want, but, you know, understanding that, um, requires you to use a number of data structures in the process of understanding that. So, so you can never understand the algorithm uh, of how to convert from this to that and back and forth, okay? Uh, unless you're 100% comfortable to look past the tools you're using, because otherwise, you know, you're gonna be mindful of how your, uh, is your grip correct and all, right? And you know what I'm thinking about is my grip correct and all when you're trying to understand that. So, um, and so I think that's why um, do to A, to B, and or to C, uh, and even if, you know, even if you uh, uh, manage to just pass tardigrade, I would say take the time over the summer break, okay? Not, not the summer break, um, before you do 2C. Uh, but no, but even before you, uh, you know, graduate and start learning about, you know, deeper computer science subjects like finite state machines and so on, um, I would say uh, a, a totally master tries, okay? I think that is one of the fundamental data structures. And it's very similar to Hanoi, right? If you think about it. 
in, in the way that we've moved things around. So that subtly, very subtly, uh, we've changed where we're actually storing the data that matters to us. And, uh, and, I, and I think that step is an important step, personally, I think, right? Because it's, you know, learning to say, think of information as just information, right? We can have it here or have it there. But, you know, uh, ultimately, it's, at the end of the day, it's the same. Right? Uh, it's not special because it's here or not special because it's there. It's just uh, more convenient and less convenient for this particular situation, right? just like evolution. So, uh, <clears throat> all right. So if, if you're happy with that, I think, uh, 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 and, and I'm actually totally happy with you guys, okay? You've, uh, most of you have put in a great deal of effort uh, and please do stick, in, stick with this all the way through. Uh, do 2C, uh, try and complete at least the first quest over the break before even 2C starts, because that way, that way you'll actually be uh, onto a running start as soon as class starts. And we have a bunch of uh, students and more will enroll later, I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> not unwittingly, but uh, I hope more enroll, right? right? Because right now uh, there's only about 22 students. It's over threshold. So I think it's definitely going to run. The class is gonna run, okay? It's unlikely to be canceled, um, but uh, we need more students. <clears throat> so you can encourage more students to join. And by the way, people don't have to do 2C to quest, right? Anybody can quest. You can tell your and friends and uh, to quest alongside you and have more fun if that makes sense to you. Um, because it doesn't cost anything to uh, to quest. Okay, so please do go ahead and quest. Start, start get started uh, on 2C because I don't think you have as many breathers. And uh, if you look at, and, and, do, and I'm, so in the syllabus, I'm going to make this very clear. Okay, access to the past subreddit is off limits in the class, okay? Uh, and that's gonna be formal stated in the syllabus, okay? Uh, which means that the only, you only use a subreddit to talk to your current classmates and other and current questions, maybe anywhere in the world, right? But not look up solutions. But now is your time, all right? Now is your time uh, not to solve the 2C quest by looking at the past, but just look at what they've talked about. Uh, don't look at specific quest solutions, but look at their experiences and and, and see what they've uh, you know found each quest to, um, uh, what they found, what was an uh, important learning in each of the class, you can take a look at that. Because once the quarter starts, uh, I think, you know, we'll just say in the syllabus, no, <laughs> you know, you just have to assume that you were as good as the very first bunch of students when I started questing back in 2019. Uh, they didn't have access to the quests, uh, they didn't have access to the past. And, and to top it all off, some of the quests were even buggy at that time, right? Because you can go back to the red quest all the way back. I think red came before uh, green. And, and then blue came last or something like that. I, I forget the exact sequence. <clears throat> but if you, I think red came first, I think, or something like that. So if you go back to the very first red quest, you'll actually see that, uh, you know, a lot of students were bitten by bugs that were not because of them. It was because of me. And then they were, you know, uh, they were, you know, waiting, you know, fingers crossed. They didn't, they, they don't even know if the bug was in their code or my code, okay? Uh, and, and many of them are very patient. Um, and, and until I fix some of those bugs, you can see all of them in, in the conversations, right? And uh, out of the blue, someone, one of those students contacted me um, yesterday on LinkedIn. Um, uh, so, uh, and he's at Berkeley right now. Uh, it's very interesting. Um, so I told him to stop by the subreddit and, and say hi to you guys in 2C, <laughs> I, I hope, um, when, uh, when he has time. Anyway, so I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad to see your progress. Keep the, you know, keep the energy up. Uh, also make sure that all these other people who are not showing up to class, right? Uh, just to some, send a message to them somehow. You know, they have to uh, keep at it, right? Keep at it um, and, and finish it. And, <clears throat> and, and, and uh, also uh, tell them to make something off it, right? They're paying money. Just get the knowledge from 2C, not just a piece of paper, which you can get anywhere. You can, it does, it, it's not foothill, right? You can go anywhere in the world. If you just want a piece of paper, you can get it. And uh, so uh, why, why waste it, right? So I'd say just use, do 2C please. And, and, and even if you have a quest all the way to red, okay? Told you, quest, finish, finish the red quests, okay? And, um, and take your time over the spring break to wrap up all of green and completely thoroughly understand uh, prefix trees uh, because it is the basis for many things that you will do with graphs later on. All right, so thank you all. If you have any questions, by the way, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer those questions. Um, otherwise, I think we'll just go on. I, well, I have to read out the link, link list uh, order, okay? Uh, for the order of in which you guys are gonna update yourself or help each other, that's fine. Um, and and after, after your update, you can also st stick around uh, like before and, and um, have a discussion and drop off one by one and the last person can you know, let me know. So uh, the order I have 
is uh, Riley. Uh, yes, first, uh, you're on my top left. Okay, top left, okay. Uh, followed by Jason. Okay, uh, Sung. Okay, uh, Jiang, your camera is totally off. I can see half your face. What is it? Do you have your camera over there and your monitor here? Yeah, I don't. I bought an external camera and just I and, don't have anywhere to put it. Can you fix it on top of your monitor or something? Uh, it's going to be off. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, because I, 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 I have played with <laughs> cameras like that in the past. Uh, hey, Ronaldo. Uh, oh, uh, after Jiang, Ronaldo, are you, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh, followed by Walter, Turkey, Turkey. Okay. Yep. Uh, Tim, Nate, Nate, are you there? Yep, I'm here. Apologize for my camera being broken, but. Uh, well, your camera was broken all along, you know, for three months, most of the time. Oh, was it? No, no, maybe not you, someone else. Uh, uh, I've yeah. disabled it temporarily. Often, oh, you but... know what? I, I totally confused you with, uh, you know, it's, it's, there was a guy in CS2A. Uh, Van, Van, his uh, camera broke down, not all the time. He eventually got it fixed, I think. Um, you can see in the YouTube videos recordings, right? Uh, but it was uh, it was breaking so often. And then at one point, we didn't even know if it was a camera or the Wi-Fi or you know, what the hell was going on. I had to uh, move my computer to another house right now. I'm dog sitting and I tried plugging it in. It's just not working. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, bummer. Okay. All right. Anyway, I hope it gets better. We can hear you so you can update us by voice. Absolutely. Uh, hey, uh, Sinchi, you good? Yeah. Um, you should try playing around with your graph. You know, Mandar also uh, posted a note saying how you can grab the notes. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can make a, oh, yeah. you know, a symmetry. Oh, yeah, that is all, I'm so confused. I actually tried like, oh, ignore it. So I actually tried like variety of times to input my program. Just, I thought it's like, we yeah, have yeah, to yeah. I saw your post. Random yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I didn't even roll. You can drag it's it. This way, it definitely is easier. You can just grab your mouse and you know, drag yeah, cool. your mouse and yeah, it is. Yeah, right. yeah, you can post a better screenshot. You know, I think um, because yeah, I thought there was something it. interesting. There. Yeah, cool. Um, all right, I followed by George after Sinchi. George, you ready to go after Sinchi? Uh, followed by Anne. Is hey George? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. All right, you got to be more. You know. Uh, full of full of energy, all right? So uh, every all courses bearing down on you in week eleven, um, but you know taking a stride. Uh, all right, and after after George uh, and then Gerald. All right, I don't have anyone after Gerald. <clears throat> all right, great. Thank thank you all so much uh, for your time. Unless you have any questions for me um, that you'd like to answer. You know, ask otherwise. Riley, Riley can start the updates, and I look forward, right, to uh, to seeing all of you across the finish line or across. Okay, so uh, yeah, not much for me since I'm done. I've just been working on the uh, that bonus quest that the professor sent out, and I have uh, a non in place solution an algorithm for that, but I'm working on my in place solution for that. Uh, so right now I'm working on quest eight. Um, I'm basically done. There's something I wanted to show you guys with relation to uh, memory leaks. Uh, can I share my screen? Yeah, sure. Totally, totally. Um, so a couple nights ago. Is it, it's it's too small. Is it? Um, oh, is this better? Or is I can, it? I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. So. Um, I'm, I'm as like a couple nights ago, I was just doing random stuff and you can see my memory's at 96%. So I'm looking <laughs> and uh, something had a memory leak. So this is a reminder to you guys, whatever you're coding, make sure to not put memory leaks in back in any processes, especially if they're background programs. Uh, this cra th this almost crashed my computer. <laughs> what is this thing called Phoenix? Uh, it's probably, it's, uh, my guess is it's a Microsoft uh, background process. Um, probably one of their like bloatware things. Um, no, no, no. I, it's before you, before you complain, uh, I don't know. May, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, have a look in the settings to, I, it's, I'm pretty sure it's due to some cache sizing. Okay. Because if it's from Microsoft, they're not going to have some silly ass bug leak in there like that. 
Okay, so um, I, I think even if you Google it, you may find that there's a setting that says, you know, you don't use this more than this much memory. Uh, mm. And I don't know, because I've found things like that many times. You may be lucky or, you know, maybe you'll, you'll have to. <clears throat> yeah, like you said. No. Thanks, thanks for sharing that. After who goes after you? You just shifted places. Uh, oh no, no, it's, it's, it is soon. It is soon. Yeah. It's yeah, it's me. So last week I didn't really do that much because I was really busy with other classes. I had like two exams, but I'm still struggling with Quest Eight, and I'm like still trying to learn about tries because I feel like I have a bunch of knowledge gaps. So I'm not really attempting to like turn in my code anymore because I feel like I would get it wrong <laughs> over and over until I learn more. All right, um, so I'm looking to finish Quest 6 today, so I could uh, at least pass the course. Uh, but I, I still try my best to get to Quest 9 before the final, since there's still one more week. Um, I recently just got out from my intern and other courses. So basically, I'll be questing 24-7 to try to finish. Yep. Awesome. Um... I'm so far at quest number eight, um, I'm stuck. So last week I decided to do a side project so you can just like get a cleanser before you go back in. Because yeah, I keep posting and posting it's still nothing, nothing ahead. So I just wanted to change the field before coming back into it. But yeah, hopefully this week eight and nine. So I have finished quest eight last week and then I'm doing quest nine right now. And I'm stuck in the resize stuff in my function. Um, I don't know, hopefully I can finish this within this week and then I can focus on my final exam next week. Thank, thank, thank you, Tim. I think we skipped over uh, Ronaldo and Walter, right? So yeah, uh, uh, so we can go, you know, Nate can go after Walter. How about that? Okay. Ronaldo, uh, if you're here, you can just... Um, yeah, I'm here. So sure. Yeah, I noticed that. So I am working on the bonus uh, quest, the mode. Um, um, I have a solution, but I'm trying to, you know, tweak it, optimize it uh, to see how it goes to see if it can make it faster. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, I finished quest nine yesterday. Uh, so I haven't really checked out the bonus quest just yet. Uh, it was a lot of fun though, Quest Nine. That was uh, it was fun to play around with it. And for the um, your custom one, the pretty picture, I tried to do. I don't know if you guys know, but that thing where you cut a piece of paper, you twist it, and it's like it has one side to it, which was kind of hard to do. Um, still sort of working on it. I think I'll post like an in progress on subreddit that might be easier to see what I'm talking about, but. But yeah, it was a oh, lot of fun. Oh, Mo Mobius trip. Is, is, is yes, it like, correct. Oh, Mobius, yeah. oh, cool, cool. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, that would be fantastic if you get, um, you know, what the hell? yeah, that would be so cool. Yeah, I think so, we're you know, moving your, uh, moving the notes around, maybe, I don't know. I, I yeah. Yeah, very nice, thank you. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll, I'll check out the bonus quest, hopefully. Um, I'm also hoping to do the, midterm retake, not just because the grade, but I think will be good practice for the final. Uh, so that's what I'm doing this week. Well, I finished up quest seven after the freeze, unfortunately, but I got it until passing. There are a couple mini quests that I haven't locked down yet, but I'm, I've moved on to eight and I'm struggling through that now. Uh, I did have a question about the midterm retake. Uh, Am I correct in understanding that there isn't a risk of lowering our grade by retaking? No, it's, uh, we'll just keep the highest. Keep the highest. Right? Yeah, we'll Perfect. keep the highest. And what we'll do is I'll transfer the scores over into Canvas, uh, uh, you know, on the, the day after. Oh, actually, the, the score is going to be on Canvas anyway. Immediately after you take it, you can just say, if, if it went down, you can let me know. And then I'll go and fix it. It's, it shouldn't go down. It'll just keep the highest. All right. And I, I've heard a little bit about a, about a bonus quest. I'm interested in that and hope I can uh, make it in time to get some. So yeah, you have to complete Q9, but you're close, right? You, you're close. Uh, yeah, as, as long as you're in the same position as, let's say, Jiang, right? Because the other classes are wrapping up. And I know UCSB 
is the last finals week this week. So next week is like completely free for them, right? So, right, yeah. I've, so many of you may have more and more time open up this week and next. So if you apply all of that um, to Q8, which is actually one of the most challenging uh, in terms of introducing a fundamentally new concept, which basically has to warp your mind to look at things the other way. So that takes time because you, know, you can't just turn it like that. It has to go like that. It takes a little bit of time, but not like, you know, right now, I don't understand it. I'll come back tomorrow. No, the time meaning read it now, try to think about how can it make sense? How can it make sense for about 10 or 20 minutes? Okay, then take a break, then repeat that process. So uh, those 20 minutes will add up. And in, you know, after a week, it'd be like five hours of having thought about that. That's when you'll start making sense of it, right? That's when the wrench completely, you know, is, is towards your direction. You can push more. Yeah, so far I'm very intrigued by it. Uh, this is the only class I have on the quarter system. My other classes are like longer term but uh, we're hitting the like third exam point in, in my other college. And hopefully once that passes, I'll, I'll just come back to this, even if it's past the, you know, once we're done with the final and the class is over, I'll definitely yeah. keep going with this. Okay, cool. So uh, I just on quest nine several days ago, and as professor said, you can actually track the node on the quest site if you are, going to do quest nine these days. Just, yeah, dragging the notes can like make you easier to visualize what you want to do. So that is what you might want to know. And the midterm is approaching. So probably I'll spend more time to prepare it for the midterm coming in two weeks, but I will also be on Reddit. So hope if I can help any of you guys, yeah. Um, this, these two weeks, um, cause I didn't come last week. Um, I've been just working around, um, jumping around different quests and the bonus quest because I'm trying to, um, ace them and, um, I think I'll be preparing for, um, the retake and the final that's coming up. Hey, George, I, I want to apologize uh, when I said before that you should put more energy into this thing. I just re remembered that you're at like this weird time zone, like 3 a.m. Yeah. Then if you put more exactly energy, you're going to wake up everybody around you. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So, so, so sorry uh, I said that. And, and thank you for, you know, attending these meetings in the first place. Yeah, hey, Gerald, you, you can go. Yeah. So I'm working on Quest 9, uh, mini Quest 2. There's a problem I'm having. It's... Uh, I got more number of notes than expected, but uh, probably figure that out soon by today. And hopefully I'll finish quest nine by uh, this Friday. Um, I'd like to thank Reynaldo for his test um, stuff. Sorry, I am so tired, but I managed to get past quest eight and quest nine. So I'm really happy. Um, yeah, those are my updates. I'm just gonna study for the winter. I'd get a lot of sleep now. Awesome. Um, th th thank, thank you all so much for the updates. Um, and for, first of all, I'm actually gratified that this sequence of problems is not too challenging for uh, students, that many students are, are actually able to make it all the way to, to the end. Um, so I can actually take that back to the department meetings also. Because, you know, there's also always talk about um, should courses be made easier or harder, easier or harder uh, to make sure that students also succeed. But there's also this tension about, you know, with um, that we have saying, well, you know, it should be made as easy as possible, but not at the cost of these essential concepts that they have to learn. So I think Einstein said this, uh, well, I'm sure many people before him also, um, uh, it, things should be as simple as possible, but no simpler uh, like that. I think, you know, uh, the class should be as easy as possible, but no easier. So uh, so if things are too easy, then there's definitely a problem with the class. I, that's, that's what I feel, right? And so we're designed to keep keep people on, on, on their toes. So th thank you all so much. You should just carry on a conversation amongst yourself and, and feel free to drop off as, uh, and, and, you know, it's probably, I don't know, next week. Uh, do you guys plan on coming back next week? Um, this is because next week is week 12, yes? <clears throat> uh, can, can I, you know, get a show of hands or something like that so that I can decide what to do about this thing? Uh, so one, 
Uh, how many people want to come next week? Two, two, three. Yeah, okay. It looks like most, yeah, all of you uh, want to come next week. Um, yeah, okay. I will right, we'll have another meeting next week also. Um, and hopefully, you know, reach out to Mandar also. Uh, I think, you know, he was one of the early people who finished the graphs and I don't want him to have checked out saying, hey, I finished everything now. I don't have to do anything. So reach out to him, uh, get him to come. Uh, and maybe you just have a virtual party send off uh, to all of you guys. Yeah, I'll tell you guys, basically all of you group, regroup again in CS2C. <laughs> it's basically like uh, uh, a week. And who knows if you're going to even take time off, you know, help each other, continue to help each other over the spring break, um, complete some of the uh, red quests. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Okay. So, uh, and I'm just going to be around helping you. Okay. Even a spring break, I don't care. It's, this doesn't take me a great deal of effort. Uh, so even if I'm out there, I can just respond to most of your questions uh, on the phone. If it's really interesting and it requires time, um, I'll basically just respond right there and say, uh, hey, you know, hey, it's really cool. Uh, give me some time to noodle on this, okay? Then I can come back, you know, get to my computer, uh, put my gloves on. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, and, and, and test it out and, and um, things like that. But otherwise, most of the time, it's basically just fun to read Anything, any, any and everything you say, right? Um, I look forward to reading your posts and comments. The only things I miss, I think, uh, I don't know why Reddit, well, recently they introduced a feature where you can subscribe to a post and then all comments on that post, you'll get notified. Now, last year, if I remember, even that thing was not available. And uh, so now, uh, at least I get notified of comments on posts that I are that I mark as uh, you know I'm following that, and uh, so when there are comments on that thread, then I get notified. But I think you no know, moderator should. Oh, maybe it doesn't work because it's not scalable. If you get notified for every single activity, that's not possible. But certainly, um, the, I'm not notified, and I fail to see some of the posts that you guys are making, uh, not posts. Because I think I get notified. I fail to see some of the comments you are making on any post that is more than, I don't know, three or four days old at the current rate at which, you know, posts are being added. Um, so your best bet is to either make a new post or comment, comment on something that's no more than three days old, uh, right? Uh, and I think that will all, I, I thank you for, um, you know, making me think about that and talk about that because I can say that in the syllabus also, right? And, and, uh, and to be on the safe side, it's not even the very past subreddit you should look at. Um, I think your best bet is to not look at subreddit, any post in the subreddit beyond three days, right? Even to comment on them because it's all useless and most people don't even look at those posts. Uh, you know, you've, you felt this, right? Many times when you run into a problem, uh, how, you know, with many people, students find that it's easier to post a question, ask someone, uh, one of their classmates, rather than to search and find a hundred wrong answers, you know, reading you, leading you down uh, many incorrect paths. So, and three weeks old is, you know, uh, it's, uh, maybe they were having the same issue, you know, so you should always just ask your current classmates. And it's better if it's, you know, if, you, if, it's, a, if it's an old post, if, uh, rather than add to it, if you make the new question again, it's actually better for you because that post was made by someone three days ago, Maybe they found the answer, right? Uh, maybe that's why that thread died. So when you post now, that person has a chance to give you the answer. Not give you the answer, but point you in the right direction. Yeah? So I, I think, uh, so that's a good thing that came out of this meeting today, for me anyway, is to say, uh, to be on the safe side, don't even look at any post for commenting beyond three days of age. Uh, so that you will only either create a post or comment on something that's no more than three days old. That's the safest bet. So then I typically tend to look at these comments because they're in the first, I, I remember the first four or five Reddit posts when I look at the page, it says, you know, number of comments, seven, three, four, two, one, okay? Or something like that. I remember that number, right? Uh, and then, uh, you know, maybe two hours later when I'm back, I just refresh the page. And if it's not seven, three, four, two, one, um, then I know, oh, there's a new comment there. Yeah, so that's how I look. And, and then if you have these comment counts, uh, you know, way down in the feed, I can't remember those and, and I don't get any notifications. All right, now you know the reason why uh, uh, sometimes if you ask a question in a comment um, that's more than a couple of days old, maybe I don't even see it. And that, <clears throat> that is the reason why you don't get a response. It's not because I'm just, 
ignoring you, right? It is not my intent to ignore any of you. I don't know if anybody's complaining, but I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, I, I think you guys are generally being a happy lot. Nobody's really complained about that. I'm ignoring them. Uh, but it shouldn't, you shouldn't feel like that. That if you get, you know, if you make a post and nobody's responding to it, it the reasons are because one, I'm waiting for someone else to respond because it's, it's probably an easy question um, that someone can get points out of by explaining the concept. So, because, you know, otherwise there's no point in having a discussion forum, right? Well, one person should ask questions and another person should answer. So I'm waiting for someone else to do it. Um, and the other is, um, <laughs> I'm sure there was one more reason. Um, there's one more, there's one more reason why I don't answer questions. Well, you know, one is because it's too old and I don't see the question anymore or something. There's one more uh, situation. But if it's if it's an unreasonable situation, you just have to, you know, ping me by tagging my name um, and say, hey, you know, this question has been asked before and you never, nobody responded. Could you shed some light on it? Yeah, of course. Cool. Hey, you know, I'm happy to tell you whatever I know on that topic. <laughs> All right, I can say, you know, the reason nobody answered is because nobody knows, including me, right? So, <laughs> you know, I can also say that. So you can always ask uh, questions, re-ask questions that were asked before. I'm, you know, I'm going to be uh, looking forward to see you all, uh, seeing you all again next week. Uh, and you should just feel free to, um, you know, in chat amongst yourselves. And um, otherwise, and keep dropping off. And I will see you all next Monday. Okay, that's week week uh, eleven, week twelve. Um, all retakes over by then. Week twelve, you should basically just be focusing on your final exam, right? And understanding concepts. Okay. Uh, understanding the concepts, that's very important. All right, cool. Uh, can, can I just turn the laptop around? You guys can feel free to chat and um, and just call me to shut, shut it down. Shut down. Is it recording? Yes, it is recording. So just call me to you know turn off the recording whenever you're done, okay? The last person to leave the room. Then thank, thank you all so much. It's been a fantastic class, okay? You know, uh, what with uh, Ronaldo's background and all, I should have made this whole, you know, live background for all of us. It's really cool. But, you know, uh, uh, Aurora's like that. Uh, very nice. Okay. All right. Uh, th th thank you all, okay? Thank you. So I had asked a question about like for mini class two, I think why you wouldn't want to use recursion. I was wondering if anybody else had any other takes on that because I just don't, I'm not a recursion kind of person in general. Was this for quest eight? Which is sorry, I didn't hear the first part. Yeah, quest eight, mini quest two. Can you hear me again? Nick gave a Nick gave an answer about like uh, the dynamic memory allocation, but I wasn't totally sure if that was like the big big reason or if there was like more reasons why that might. I be. think the second part of what he said was like more important, where like you would kind of lose track of which character you're on, like if you do recursion. Like, I think I think it would be a lot different. I I don't know. I'm I'm also I also said I was pretty stumped on that as well. Like. I've been thinking about it and I'm like, like the only reason I could think of is that you would lose track of the, like of which index you are in the stream. Yeah, and like. then what's it called? I also thought it would be like really like memory intensive just to like do the recursion way. So yeah, but I'm like, like don't like recursion. Uh, which quest is this for? Uh, or... Quest eight, mini quest two, which was, was that traverse? I can't remember. No, it was the insertion one. Oh. Uh, insert, insert. Um, I'm trying to see if if I use. I did not use recursion. I used a for loop in that one. Um, oh, yeah. Is my I solution correct? Probably not. Um, <laughs> I have not run this through the questing site yet. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm just trying to finish the last mini quest before I do that. Um, I also wrote this at like 3 a.m. So like, I don't know how this works. <laughs> I completely. If, 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 so, if something doesn't work in in this code, um, 
I'm going to probably just cry for an hour, and then I'll probably think of some random answer, or probably just enter it with some random character, and it'll probably work. Because that's how you, that's how CS, C++ works, everybody, let's be honest. <laughs> that's been me. Usually, if I, what's it called? Usually, if I can't, if, like, my pointer doesn't go, or if they're like, it's null, or whatever, I usually just, um, what's it called, add an asterisk, then it works, and I'm like, why? <laughs> why would you do that to me? <laughs> what did I do? Yeah, I put a for loop in, too. I do not, like, I'm like, I will stay away from recursion as long as I can. Oh, yeah, um, I wanted to ask a question for get completions. Uh, I'm just super confused as to what on earth that's even supposed to do. Um, is that just supposed to get, like, every single, like, possible string you can make and put that into completions? Or which one? Uh, this is for mini, this is for the last mini quest. Uh, what number is it? I don't have the prompt pulled up right now. Uh, this is for mini quest. Well, not the last one. This is for mini quest seven. If anyone's, if anyone here has finished that. I didn't finish it, so I'm just like, I don't yeah. feel confident in my answer, giving any answers that are like, yeah, totally got that. Um, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I think I, I think I just copied this wrong, I might be an idiot. Yeah, I copied this wrong. You know how it's like um how in the PDF it kind of has like the uh like the name of the function. Mm -hmm. That has one extra. That has the string variable, and now this has mine. Does, mine has s. Well, the one in there has s, and mine does not. It didn't throw an error, which is really odd. No, because I remember one of the um mini quads not had like. It doesn't, like, the starter code and the, like, later descriptions of the class. Yeah. Line up. Because I remember I ran into that problem when I was trying to submit it, and they were like, uh, it was either, it was like, look up or, I can't remember, but it was just like, this is wrong, and you need help. And I was just like, no, I swear this is the right one. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I just realized I was looking at the wrong mini quest. That's why this is different. Oh, were you thinking about mini quest 6? The node I one? I think or? so. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. of the node one. Okay, that that would make sense because, like, yeah, if you were try if you try to do the try one before the node one, that would be pretty, is, pretty difficult. Oh, oh is, um, it is, yeah, that, that's the one I was thinking of. Um, is that, do you just, like, find every single combination you can get at that point? with the limit like i think so like i think uh I you're supposed it. to perform a breadth thirst breadth breadth first search i think like i i'm not really sure like exactly but i think that's where you should look at like i i, I watched some videos about it and i think i think oh. it would help you to understand what a breadth first search is yeah i went through the uh it's i was gonna i was what i was going to do is i was gonna just take like a take like make it a recursive for loop but i'm not sure if that's a great idea because though those are always entertaining until they cause like until they take up all of your memory so i, was yeah, I mean i usually don't use recursion unless i need it because like it like if i don't really understand what the problem is i'm like there's no way i'm going to do it recursively yeah <laughs> I feel like it's a lot easier to do it iteratively, at least for most cases, except for like trees, like the trees one, you need recursion, but I don't know. No, I'm uh, I'm an iterative kind of person. I refuse to <laughs> like recursion at any point. Recursion is fun if you get like the hang of it. Like, um, 
some programs are really stingy about it. Like, for instance, like, Python won't, like, it's a pain in the ass to do recursion in Python, which is, like, both a, b a good thing and a bad thing, depending on what you're trying to do. It's a good thing because no one wants to do recursion, and it's a bad thing because if you actually need to do recursion, then you're screwed. Um... But that's actually what's like what I feel is really nice about C++ because C++ you can do recursion and if you like do it well and if you like basically just pray that nothing breaks then it'll work. Because we all know that C++ is 90% praying, 10% actual skill. Um, so... <laughs> Alright. I ha do not have enough sleep because, of course, because C++ will do that to you. So, I'm going to get off. See you guys. Yeah. Bye. See you guys. I think... Oh. Uh, I'll call it Professor. Professor? Yeah. John? Yeah, I think we're wrapping up here. Unless hey, okay. Thank, thank you. Is Walter? Nope, I'm yeah. done. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, we're all done. Uh, all right. Thank, thank, thank you, guys. See you next week. Okay. See you.